Hello students, I hope you are doing well. So today we will start the first chapter. Our chapter name is Computer Generation. Okay? So let's start our chapter. Students, nowadays the computers that we see are very powerful and small in size. But they were not like that in the early age. You can see that in early ages, the computers are very powerful powerful but not in small size but nowadays the computers are very powerful and small in size okay they have taken a long time for the development okay the history of the development of computers is classified into different generation of computer as you can see ki the history of a development of computers are classified into various generations of computer there are various generations of computer and each generation of computer is marked by a major technological development resulting in better cheaper faster and smaller computers let us take a glance at each generation of computer so now we will discuss the various generations of computer okay now the first generation computer is from 1942 to 1956 okay so in the first generations computers are very large in size okay in first generation computers are very large in size they are not in small in size they occupied whole rooms so the computers occupy whole rooms in these computers thousands of vacuum tubes were used so in this computer we have used thousands of vacuum tubes okay the vacuum tubes generated a lot of heat and burn out frequently and what vacuum tubes do it do the vacuum tubes generate a lot of heat and burn out frequently means it burn out frequently the computer of this generations were very expensive here you can see the first generation 